So hello, here is another video about simulating board games using Google Spreadsheets and Google Scripting. Uh, I have uh, done the third version of simulation of the board game I'm building and I'm going to just show you what you could do with the Google Spreadsheet if you dive deep enough. Um, here is a spreadsheet with a lot of data. I have uh, data for the characters used in this adventure game. Uh, I have some data describing paths between different uh, places, locations on, on the board, and I have what do I more have data about cards uh, written in Swedish because uh, the game testing is done in Swedish. What else? Yeah, items, card items, also mainly described in Swedish. Let's just have a quick look at the actual game to give you a flavor of what it is. We have this is the rule book. Let's start by looking at the board. This is the board of the game. Adventurers start in, it's a cooperate, cooperative game. Adventurers start at uh, the home village and in the east part of the board, you have the tower of the evil sorceress. And adventurers travel around this usually uh, western part of, of the board, the light part of the world of Altrix, uh, to gain experience and level up and find useful uh, weapons and other equipment. Then they go into the dark side of the world uh, eventually um, fights the uh, evil sorceress and hopefully wins. So a lot of things that can be going on. And here we have um, character sheets used in the game. You have here some uh, skills that can be leveled up an important part of the game. You have traits which cannot be leveled up also kind of important. We have um, boxes signifying the spell of a command uh, which the evil sorceress uh, uses on the adventurers. And we have different type of, types of characters with different stats. Okay, so what is happening then? In here we have all the code. Uh, and I'm not going to go through the code, I'm just going to point at things and show you what you could do. If I here run the simulate function, let's actually, well, let's just run it. I'm going to see some results here going to say I did a game here, game number one. Uh, it took 28 days, 28 rounds for the players to get to the evil sorceress. They completed five quests and they went towards the evil sorceress on day 12. Uh, they took uh, four and a third uh, spell of command damage each in average from three to six, and they got honor and glory worth minus three. They weren't really that successful. And yada, 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 a lot of things here. N nobody passed out. Uh, maximum fight wa value when they got to the evil sorcerers was seven. Different stuff I have uh, well put into this code to, to be able to read later on. Let's go in here to data setup things. Let's say true. This will enable an, a lot of log messages. So we can see when days pass by, when uh, adventures level up, uh, when they um, are uh, subject to the spell of command, when they arrive at locations, when they take a quest, when they consider training to level up, when they visit the store or buy something, what happens when they dry, uh, draw adventure cards. Um, let's see what else. Pay for healing select destination, yes. Okay, save. Now we do again here and run a game. And a lot of more data is visible here. We can see the ranger buys a short sword before the game start. The uh, warrior buys a morning star. Powerful weapon. Day one, they meet oh, a group of orcs. That's interesting. Beat all characters. What? Yeah, okay. At uh, One character got even to... Uh, uh, yeah, okay. So they encountered different stuff here and uh, they got all beaten up. No, the ranger beats the wild boar. Nice. And the day goes on. Uh, something is reshuffled. They draw different cards. And we have well, more encounters, things happens, things happens. Well, and you can read a lot, of, a lot of stuff here to see what is happening. You can turn off 
things again. Let's see. Let's only let's only look at the level up things. Level up. No command spell. No location. No quest. No considered training. No store. No buy. No card result. Let's keep the select destination. Save and run again. And we have new data coming up here. So we can see the warrior decides to go towards the tower here on day 10. They were quick this time. You can see what happens here at different places. Uh, and eventually, let's turn off these things again. False, false, save. You can also run this a lot of times. Instead of just running this game once, I have a well, special function here running it 200 times. Running this function, wham, okay, perhaps I didn't turn off enough of uh, messages. Anyways, in the end, uh, you have some summary of iteration 200 here, and then a summary of distribution of results for these stats. So you can see average time it took for players to get to the evil sorceress was 25.17 days. And here is percentile. I've selected percentile 5, 15, 50, 85, and 95 to see what the distribution looks like. I got a lot of, a lot of interesting data here, useful for tweaking values and getting a more balanced game to see that even when a lot of games is played are played, uh, you get a sensible distribution of stuff. This then is also called from this spreadsheet here. So I can say, let's play with the knight and the warrior and the ranger and the wizard. And I give them different letters here to say that they are part of different groups. They do not follow each other. And let's run this, I hope 300 times will do. Do, 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 do. And within 30 seconds, we should have an answer or results shown. Because in 30 seconds, it will time out. Yeah, so we get here different percentiles and results here, which you can copy and do some more analysis on and tweak some stuff and change characters, change the cards to see what happens. Um, Definitely not a replacement for game testing uh, or play testing because this doesn't tell you the experience of, of playing the game. But on the other hand, it's a very good complement because you don't need a gazillion play tests to, to get you numerical values for stuff. You can do that mathematically instead or with the help of a computer. So in another video, I'm going to show you a bit about how I built this code, the different parts of it, not the details, but more like the architecture of it. See you there. Have a good time. Bye.